So Paul, a tough task for your side today. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and try and dress it up and use the old cliches that it was great to get minutes into the legs and all that rubbish. I thought we were, I thought we were poor for 60, 70 minutes. And again, I, I'm happy with the character that we tried to get back in the game. However, I, I'm not silly that Birmingham made a lot of changes, a lot of young lads on the pitch the last 20 minutes. So I'm sort of disregarding the pitch stuff for the last 20 minutes, but. It's good character because you can only play what's in front of you. I thought they were excellent. I thought they were they were sharper than us. I thought they reacted better. Uh, but we we need to react to it. We need to tidy up on a few things. I thought we were a bit off it with a touch. I thought when when you when we play the way we want to and, and we want to be in a decent shape. If if you've got one or two players that are maybe a yard to it's as simple as a yard off the pace then. Your shape can become a bit open, and I thought at times that the first first half they were they were far superior. It was quite a physical battle for the majority of the game. Something you'll probably see in the National League North. Yeah, credit to them. Uh, I know Spoons and and Jonathan Grounds, one of my closest mates, and Spoons had said that he loves these games because because it's good for the lads and for for his players. And and uh, no, I thought they dealt with it really well. I thought they were they looked after themselves well. Uh, I thought they competed really well, but. So it made it made it a better game in that aspect, as in they weren't like the typical academy side that we've we've seen the last couple of years when we've been here. So they mixed it up. They went long. The boy looked after it up top. They were both fullback areas were uh, physically strong. So it causes a lot of problems. Uh, but it's something that we have to get better at. Uh, the experienced players on the pitch. I, I just think at times that if you're getting played through a bit too often in the middle of the pitch, it's just having that now and that experience to go. Do you know what? We'll just let's just get a nice, tight, narrow shape for the next five minutes because games change in an instant. So if you get in there for five minutes and just let them have the ball at times, and, and that will happen this time, uh, this year at times, so we'll need to be patient as a as a crowd, as as myself, because I like players to get on the front foot, but there'll be times in the games where we just have to manage it a bit better. So if we just manage a, the game for four, five, six minutes, whatever it is, then you can start feeling your way back in. Typical Andy Williams goal, finding space in the middle of the box. Yeah, that's what he does best when he's when he's uh, when he's in the box. He does brilliant to link it up. He he uh, takes it in well, plays it wide. We get across in the box and score. And that was one thing I was disappointed at. We didn't get enough crosses in the box. We we've got two strikers on the pitch. Both can head it. Kills is really good in the air. Willow scored obviously a header. You've got Babs that can make the the runs. You've got the opposite wing back. You've got one of the midfielders that can get high up. So we just want to try and get more balls in the box, more box entries and and. Uh, my pet hate is when, when you get wide and, and you're in a crossing opportunity and you turn it down and you come back. There was one in the first half, we turned it down, we came back, we went back to the centre half and we went back to the goalie and it's like... And then I think uh, Chappie's kicked out of the pitch and that's where we're, we're, the frustrations are of just put the ball in the box, make people defend and, and that's what... We'll get we'll get there. We, we're, I, as mad as this sounds, I don't think going through pre-season and not losing a game is... Is healthy sometimes because you've got to you've got to see where your where your deficiencies are, uh, and you learn more about defeats in pre-season. But uh, listen, the players have been brilliant. I'm not going to sit here and criticise. It wasn't a lack of effort, and like that's it's something that I need to look at me personally as the manager and try and try and fix it. What extra would you take from the defeats that you move in throughout the rest of pre-season? Uh, we scored. The Decent goal. We 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 looked a threat at times, especially the start of the second half. We were a bit more in the front foot. We started putting more balls forward. Started putting balls in the box. Uh, we made them defend. So we'll take that out of it. I thought I thought the, the the way in the first half when we were open, it gives you an opportunity then to have a look and go. Well, what's the three centre? I thought three centre halves were really aggressive on the front foot, but we don't always want them to be in that position because it means that the middle of the pitch is, is a bit too open. So. Uh, no, we'll take the positives. Uh, it's hard right now to sit and digest it all. We'll, we'll do that over the next 24, 48 hours and we'll be ready to go again. There's a lot of high pressing from Jason Cowley at the top and um, trying to get a, a sort of back on the front foot. That's what he does, yeah. It kills his. Kills his, his uh, it's just a, a ball of en energy, isn't it? He just gets after people. And, and, I, and I made that comment after the game, particularly about Kills, about let's get balls in the box and if we don't get enough balls in the box uh, we, sorry we get balls in the box and we don't put chances away then it's up to me to then come for for the strikers for not putting the, bo the ball in the back of the net but we've got to provide a bit more for them but 
I know I'm sounding a bit negative and down and all the rest of it, and, but the players have been excellent. We've worked really hard the last few weeks and, and uh, we'll go again. We'll go again. It's not the end of the world. And we do go again on Thursday night away at Starbridge. Yeah, we do. We, we to be honest, we're going to look at that really carefully and try and manage the, the, the minutes. We believe that it's the only date that Starbridge could get the pitch. So we've obviously got another game on Saturday against... Uh, Hale's own and then the following one against Newport so it's it's uh, it's important that we, we manage the players we can't go into the, the start of the season with the lads that are, that are struggling a little bit so it's a fine line about safety of the players and, and getting match fitness Brilliant, well thank you for your time Thank you A quick update on some of the players so CC wasn't here today is there Yeah, CC's there? not our player obviously she's, sorry, CC's uh, no he wasn't here today he did something else on uh, Obviously, we still have an interest. He's still interested, but without going into too much detail, I know it looked as if. And, and I said, uh, I done a podcast last night. Actually, we. I know there's been a lot of talk that we never offered CC a contract, and that's not the case. We CC made it aware that he wanted to play play uh, abroad, and I was absolutely fine with that. Uh, he knows that we're interested. We like him. He knows that he's loved here. He wants to be here now that that opportunity might have not. Uh, arose for him so yeah we, there was never a, a case of sitting down and offering a contract because we were very open and honest from the start so there's no point offering someone a contract that wants to look elsewhere so uh, and that's not him saying that he doesn't want to be here he just wanted to get better for his family and go and play abroad which we were fine with uh, skins skins we skins will be touch and go for the start of the season probably won't make the start of the season because he's there's not enough games to to try and get him up to speed uh, monty's one of those ones if we were November, December, he'd just be playing. But it's pre season, we were trying to learn from last season. But I'm saying learn, we didn't we didn't overdo it with kills or whether that was just natural injuries, but there's no need for him to start strapping ankles up and get through pre season games. So uh we'll try and get him back on the training pitch this week, if not next, and, and get him up to, to match sharpness. Uh who else have we got? Uh Che. Yeah, Che's uh Che just felt his, his a, kind of adductor last week at half time, so we just didn't take any risks. Again, another one possibly could have got through it, possibly could, but we uh, better just managing managing people in, in pre season. And again, it's, a, it's that fine line of being keeping the players safe and fit than absolutely blogging them with loads of minutes. So, yeah, that's where we're at with that. I guess the two right backs who are sort of on trial is looking at what we can do is, if Skinner's been out. Uh, no, nah, not really. We we Travis plays Travis is an experienced player, he's played eighty five games or something in EFL football, so he's one that uh, we we really like. He's not played for a long time, you can see that at times today, and that's that's absolutely fine, that's what pre season's for, to try and get that rubbish out of your legs and that sharpness back. Uh George, someone we had in last last year's done really well since he's come in. We've obviously still got Dez, but uh we just have to have a look at what we've got financially and, and how best to to go and bring someone in. Is it to go and bring another one in there just to cover maybe a couple of weeks, I don't know. Is it to go and get someone that we think that can improve us even further? Uh, I think we've we've been pretty patient in terms of we won't just bring players in just to fill fill numbers. We we were in a situation last year where we had to do that. Uh, first game of the season we had to get some quick loans in because we, we had a lot of injuries but I feel as if where we are now compared to where we are last season, we're in a better place. You've also got, um, you had Leiden injured at the start, what's the position with him? Leiden's, Leiden's out for a long time, he's, he's got a grade 3C which is probably 16 weeks. Mm -hmm. So he's, uh, yeah, he's he's out of the question. Leiden's a brilliant player but unfortunately he's uh, had a lot of injuries and, and, and I feel for him. Again, I know people look at it and go he's injury prone, which people are entitled to that. but. He's never ever pulled this hamstring, so when he's pulled, he's not just pulled it, he's he's obliterated it, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, he's he's out for, for a long time, so we'll, we'll move on from that one. Jamie Tolley? Jack Tolley is... Jack, Jack pulled his hamstring here, just no. not pulled it, just tweaked it a little bit. Uh, Jack's a brilliant lad, manager's dream, just trains properly, popular in the dressing room. But again, currently injured, so uh, he might be another couple of weeks before we... we it's not something we can overly look at because he's not our player, but we've, uh, he's he's been good for us and, and we've been good for him likewise, so he'll come in and he'll still get treated. Thank you. All right. Thank you.